I consider myself to be a lesbian and one day I would love to get married and have an undergarage. Will this be possible? I don't feel as if my love for Guru Sahib is any less than anyone else. Yes, I agree with the last part that I don't feel as if my love for Guru Sahib is any less than anyone else. Whether you're gay or straight, it has no effect upon your love for your Guru. Or upon your uh, avasta, or upon your part and simmer. Now, if you are a lesbian, you can get married and have another college, but not with another female. There are a lot of men out there, they're not really interested in a, in a gristy jeevan kind of life, but they would. There's a, thing I, there's a couple of things I know, well, there's one for sure I know. When they, didn't want to, they, when they got married, didn't want to have like, any sex apart from when to have kids. And some people have not saying this, this is that in marriage you shouldn't be unless you're having kids. So in that case, a woman who is a lesbian, she could live in a, in a relationship with somebody and, you know, who's a male and then they only have, they have kids and she could have kids, right? Um, now, would that be living a lie? Not really. Because the thing is, is, it's a spiritual thing as well. You're helping each other to run, do part. You're helping each other to have things. The love and marriage side, that's like the plus in a marriage. But that doesn't actually, like, it, it is like a benefit. Yeah? But if you don't have it, you can still have, like, for example, in the old days, Singh would go off and fight in battles. The people would only see him, like, Ikdowari Mile, then they go off, a couple of months, they come back. Even the people in the army, like, you don't see your wives that much in the army. Relationships in the army don't work out because people end up becoming too much into love and, not, not, and less into, like, the whole, um, into, like, looking after the family and doing all that kind of stuff. Now, why can't you have an undercard as a female? Because the Rehat Maradha says so. Explicitly, it says an uh, undergarment can only be between a male and a female. Also, there's no itihas for it. There's no history, historical example of it, and there's nowhere in Bani that talks about it in that way. Okay, Maharaj is all, always in Bani. Maharaj refer, r- looks at marriage as a male and a female. Okay, done However, that doesn't mean that we have to hate on homosexuals. I've said this many, many times. We have no hate for homosexuals. Abibi can take Amrit, can read part, can read Bani, she can do everything else it can do, whether she's gay or straight, there's no relevance. Only thing is, if she, if somebody's straight, um, then they can get married, and then if somebody's gay, they can get married, but only within o- opposite genders, okay? Not in the same, not homosexual marriages within Amritari Sikhi. But Anandakar is again, is only restricted to people that are straight as well. So you, you may be a female Sikh, who is not Amritari, and you have a relationship with another female Sikh who is not Amritari and you decide to go to the courts and get a civil marriage done that would be possible, right? But you then can't say, I insist upon another college. Okay? See, the thing is, okay but then the Guru, Guru Granth and Guru Panth, right? So they would have to get the Panjipari to agree as well. And then the Panjipari will be restricted by the Red that they've signed up to. So then it wouldn't happen. Now, let's say, okay, let's say 200 years or 100 years in the future, society develops and the Panth comes together to make uh, Rehat Mirada again, make some updates to include stuff like what should you do with iPhones, I've got Barney on them, whatever, right? So we have some kind of updated decision made and in there it says, okay, so Anand College can be done between a male and a female or a male and a male or a female and a female. If the Panth does that and it decides that, then obviously who am I to speak against the Panth, right? All my, all my decisions, whatever I say, subservient to the Panth. But I seriously doubt that will happen. Because they have to look at Itihas and have to look at Bani. And there's no, I can't see any precedent in that. But, you know, the Panth is the Panth, the Panth is a Guru. If they decide that, that's fine. I have to say what is it written in the Red Mirada as well, right? I can't just say whatever, you know, I have no personal issues. With homosexuals, like I have no hate for them or whatever. I just have to tell you what the rules are. Yeah?